Hi guys, welcome back. So today is a very special, a very exciting day. We are in Illinois at Maggiano's Little Italy, some Italian restaurant in a mall. Um, and we are here for the Midwest Haunters. Um, it's a planning dinner uh, for next year's trade show. So this is exciting. We've never been to this, but they're moving to Chicago, in case you haven't heard the buzz on Hunter's Hangout. And we got invited to this, so we're gonna check it out. I don't think I'm gonna vlog while I'm in there, because I think it's kind of like a under wraps kind of a thing, but I'll let you know how it goes. So here we go. All right guys, so we are at a Hobart oh, Awards right, thing right now, and we're gonna walk up and uh, they're presenting us with an award. It's kind of a festival thing. There's a lot of people here. We've got a few actors in costume. Here's our guys. Uh, so we're getting ready to walk up here in just a second. Miles on foot category is the best overall float. Um, this is kind of the big one. And this is the first year that we had a tie. We had five and five for this category. Um, so we decided to award both, um, both places because they were both super awesome. So the first one, our theme for the parade was good old-fashioned family fun this year. And nothing says good old-fashioned family fun like Johnson Strawberry Farm. So we have Strawberry Steve here. I'm sorry guys, I thought that was us. If you guys have not been to Johnson right. Strawberry Farm lately, I Check highly encourage you out. to go. Not only can you pick your own fresh homegrown they produce, but they have a whole it. brand new Family Fun Center in the back of their farm. They have painted goats, they have train rides, you can shoot beets out of cannons. Um, this float got the most um, the most chatter online. I got the most emails about how much people loved it. It was completely unexpected, um, something that we've never had in our parade before. And I'm very, very pleased to ask um, Haunted Hills Hospital, Haunted House out of Lake Station come out. They were our tie for best overall float. Not only did they win here in the city of Hobart, they won in Michigan City and Lake Station this year. So their haunted house is in Lake Station. Um, and thank you for making our parade awesome. They had a really great flow, completely unexpected. So make sure that you go out to Haunted Hills Hospital and Lake Station and support them this fall, this Halloween. And we're trying to get them back here for our Halloween event in October. So let's give them a round of applause. Thank you guys very, very much for being here. They might be mingling around the market for a little bit if anybody wants to get pictures with them while they're in their super cool costumes. So thank you again, guys. We really appreciate it. And that's it. I've said enough. I'm going to introduce the band now. We are very excited tonight to have Upside Down and Backwards here. Um, great, great blues music. You guys are in for a really good show. All right. Best part of the whole fest. I'm so excited. Everything's off. Food time. Alright guys, so we're up at the haunt, you can probably tell, but um, real quick, let's recap what's happened the last few days. So yesterday, as you know, you, you watched it, we were at an awards thing for uh, Hobart because we won the best float in the parade with our float that we had. Uh, that was cool. We had a great, like... People were very happy that we were there. We got one message from some lady, with, you know, think of the kids. You know, that always fucking happens. Someone, out of everybody, someone's going to be upset. You just can't be 
when you're running these haunted houses, you can't be upset when you get one one message of someone that's like, I wasn't happy that you were there, you know, because that means everyone else w- e- either loved it or wasn't angry enough to fucking message. So, plus they know about they know about you and when October comes they're gonna come to your haunted house so yeah but that was really cool we got a bunch of people who also whenever we have these events that we're at we bring like our contracts and we will recruit actors right on the spot we don't care we're ready to go if you're if you want to act sign a contract right now and we'll put you on our cast page you'll come to our auditions and we're putting you in the haunted house so yeah so that was really cool the other day uh, at the start of this vlog I told you that we were at a planning meeting for Midwest Haunters very very cool um, they haven't made it the official announcement yet with like a press release and whatever else but um, it is moving to Chicago it is official um, they are bringing a lot of us on board to help and by us i mean like the haunts in the area and we're one of the ones that the meeting was really cool so by the when we arrived we were kind of unknown we knew like a few people there know who we are but not many one of them who who knew us is is john uh laflamboy he is a friend of ours, uh, we were also recognized by the guys that run Massacre Haunted House because we bought a bunch of stuff over there. I vlogged it. Uh, it's a few episodes back. If, if you go look, it was a haunted house yard sale. It was pretty cool. Um, but by the time we left, with what I said and what my dad added and all that stuff, we were like rock stars. I mean, everyone was like saying hey, and everyone was handing us like their cards and all that. They want me to run a class at Midwest Haunters, so I'm working on it. Um, so if you're gonna gonna be there and you want to have a class with me, feel free. It's looking like we might end up on a haunt tour there. So if you wanna, you watch our vlogs every day and you wanna come and actually check out our haunted house, you might have an option to. Um, and we, I just want to assure you guys that we're working on amazing stuff to make Midwest Haunters a trade show that you want to go to. A trade show or a haunted house thing that you want to be at. We understand they have me, so you can trust that I'm going to make it awesome. Um, but you have to understand, they, the first thing I told them is we have to understand this is not Transworld. Um, it's ran by by Transworld, um, but this is not the Transworld trade show, so it has to be very different, and we're working on that, and I can promise you that this year at Midwest Harness is going to be the coolest year ever, so make sure that you're there, and when I say this year, I'm talking about next year in June, so it's a year away, but we're already having meetings, we're planning out everything, it's going to be incredible, so anyway, uh, haunted house stuff. We're here today working. Um, I'm starting over here in Ward A with renovations. Um, I'm gonna start by cleaning out the rest of this stuff and then I'm gonna put a fresh coat of paint on this room because this room is changing to a new kind of a character room. Uh, so it's gonna look very, very different than what it is right now. Hi, Stefan. Hi. Um, so I gotta get that body out of here, that stuff out of here, that door. These curtains all have to fucking move. All these props, basically everything except our bed is gonna come out of this room and then I'm gonna repaint these walls in a pretty shade of purple. All right, so this room is done. On the camera it looks very blue, but I promise you it's very purple. It looks like uh, like Grimace from those old um, McDonald's ads. I don't know if I get closer. Yeah, it doesn't really help. It's very purple in real life, I promise you. It's like a, a midnight purple, very cool looking. Um, so now we're gonna wait for this room to dry and then we'll start bringing our props and stuff like that in here We're gonna do kind of a natural roof so you could see this uh, There's gonna be a lot more of this just lots of boards ran all kinds of ways create almost like a shack kind of a, a, a feel in here, so I'm 
I've used almost all my paint. I had to actually cock our can to get the rest of it. And I'm just kind of checking to make sure I hit all of our corners and everything good. And I can see I missed a bit over there in the corner. See right there, a light spot and a light spot up there. So I'm going to hit that before I run out of paint. All right, guys, so our purple's all dried now, all good to go. There's a little bit more purple in the, now in the camera, but I promise you it's very, very purple. If you want to know like how purple, look up uh, up Grimace on the internet, and you'll see how how purple it is because it looks just like him. But now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do a marbling all over this with just some spray paint. All right, guys, so here's the room. I did some uh, some painting in here with these little stick guys. It's something I saw on Instagram. Here's a Easter egg. I did a little kind of a, uh, a Pennywise looking thing. Kind of cool. Some creepy shit like a burning building with these weird drippy windows. And I did like a lot of Halloween stuff. So I did like there's a witch, a ghost, creepy eyes, um, the twins from The Shining. You can call that whatever you want. Uh, this I was trying to, it was like kind of inspired by like Uncle, Uncle Fester is what I had in mind while I was was doing that, I've got skeleton dude, another witch, uh, some creepy kind of a ghost, just weird shit here, and this is kind of like the guy that's in the room, kind of, he kind of painted himself, so that's there, and then I didn't add any more like here or up there, or over here, because we have s stuff planned to hang here, so like right here we'll have probably um, a happy Halloween banner hanging, like a, a flag banner, and right here I'll have a a sink and a mirror so I didn't want to add any stuff and it's just gonna end up covered up um, yeah we've got these chairs in here and this old school radio where we'll be playing if you've been watching a while and you remember the radio track we made two years ago for the Hills Hollow Haunt it was a Halloween track of, ho of old Halloween music and radio ads and our own DJ stuff so we've got I'm gonna be playing that in here uh, just so the audience can hear that when they walk in right here. I'll have a table and a, um, a Candy bowl and have a bunch of a bunch of candy all over his bed We'll be hanging apples in here and all kinds of stuff all over everywhere So it's gonna be a pretty sweet room coming to, coming together very well. So let's go check out the other rooms the orderly's room is all ripped out and Stefan ripped out the uh, this stuff in here this our guard box is ripped out except for the stage. So that'll be coming out here pretty soon. We hung up our first vine. It's hung from up there and it comes down and drapes across over to there. So yeah, these are real long and they'll be running all over the, uh, our wall tops up here, running all over the room. Wow. And Stefan built our emergency exit door here for our clown room. So that's looking real good. We built our uh, our table. <laughs> Jeez, our our table in here for our our psychiatrist. Working on another vine over here, and we got this round entrance, our pipe entrance, all done. And we got a coat of texture paint on it. It's coming out real cool. Uh, they also did. Our stairs and our corner here and our texture paint so we're going to do the rest of the wall uh, tomorrow so we have that done and then once it dries we can do distressing and move on to this little hallway here um, yeah we're rolling along hopefully almost done so yeah thank you guys very much for watching make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any of our content it's gonna be rocking and rolling here within a week just moving along so anyway thank you guys very much for watching i'm justin I'm tuning out and you stay scary Ow. hey guys welcome back up at the haunt again today i'm working on stuff chugging along so i'm working in board a again i'm still working in this uh trick-or-treater room so let me show you what i've done so far not a lot um i've added this one shelf in the corner, which will hold our our pumpkins, our heads, lots of candy, little props. And I, I did some spray painting on this door. The camera always makes it look so like sh like crap, but it, it looks a lot better in real life. And I'm gonna ha hang our Halloween 
uh, wall stuff on this as well, all over it. So right now I'm building one of these right here, and then I'm gonna build a corner shelf there over our chair, and then a small kind of a table right here to hold a candy bowl uh, eventually. Maybe I can find something in the back. I think I might have something that can hold it. Uh, a candy bowl so yeah then I got to build a sink and put our mirror up here so yeah uh, I'm gonna start on that let me show you whatever else we're gonna so Eric and Riley have painted the rest of our wall and Eric is running a drywall mud to hide all these lines in our wall and then he'll once it dries he'll paint over it and it'll all blend in and Jacob's working on hanging well putting up our air vent in this room so that's in the corner I have Ben, I have Peanut in here, and one of our new guys in here working on hanging our metal. So they've got these three pieces up so far. They're working around our room. And uh, Jacob already knocked out. I'll show you. After we rebuilt this box, he skinned it all the way around. So we got plywood on it. And on the insides, so that it looks like a table once it's all painted so we don't have anything on top yet because we're putting like a subfloor on here so it's really strong and holds up to the actor fucking jumping on it and whatever else he does in here so yep anyway we're gonna get back to work well fuck our nail gun uh, took a shit so we're gonna have to either oh we're gonna we can't stop working so we're gonna have to start using drills which fucking blows until we can get a, a new nail gun or replace the one we or repair the one we've got. Something. I don't know. It's gonna suck, but yeah, how it goes. Way she goes. All right, so I've got these all up on the the door, Halloween stuff on the door, and then I did the back of our shelf with all this. Um, these are like these. These party hats I found, I opened them up and made them kind of like a, a fan in the corner. And then she is painting this one, and then I'll do the same thing on that. So, yeah. But, she's gonna keep adding props in here and stuff like that, so. Hi guys, welcome back. We're up at the haunt today, working on some stuff. I'm working on a job right now. I've got these little pumpkins I got from, uh, from Ghost Ride, and I'm gonna use a hot knife to hollow them out so that we can add our candles in them when they're in our room. All right guys, so I have a pumpkin here and I started with a spade bit and I thought I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a huge hole in this so that all this is open. Well, when I made a hole, I found that these are hollow on the inside. Um, so that makes the job way easier. I'm still, I'll still make a hole on all these so I can run our wires and stuff to light our candles. But um, I'm gonna use a soldering iron to carve this stuff out, all this space and on top, so that it's all open. Um, th these are foam, so that will cut right through these and I'll be able to have our perfect lines all the way around. All right guys, so hollowing out those pumpkins was not working. Uh, I got part of the way through one of them and I see that it's made out of few different kinds of foam and some of them are very densely packed. I tried using like a hot knife, a soldering iron, a spade bit, uh, a razor knife, none of it was really working and it was obvious that those were way more trouble than they were going to be worth so I abandoned the project and just I glued them up. Um, our heads in there are already hollowed out so we'll just stick our lights in those and that'll be cool enough and we'll kind of actually draw attention to the heads. So anyway, I have I have Devin in here working on this room. We're making a peeling paint effect. So we're taking newspaper, adding glue, and then laying it on here, and then we'll actually paint all that. And then, yeah, it's gonna be real cool for once it's done. Sweet. So yeah, that's what happened in here. We did a, another, another texture coat after we closed up all of our seams and now it looks awesome so once that is done and it's painted and all that i'll come in here and, and distress this whole room have it all done hang up our buntings and all that stuff so 
Yeah, let me show you the Halloween room. Alright, so we've got up our pumpkins and our decorations and our heads. Me and heads all cut up. Yeah. All these things on the shelf. Uh, Jacob and Tyler have built our sink over here in the corner. I'll add like a pair of crutches or something here and I'm going to hang our mirror on the wall. We have to have that box all, all painted first. I'm looking for some kind of a base or something to put here. And then we want to get some kind of a lamp to put here on our table so that it's all done too. So yeah, once right now he's building a shelf here, which is already up, and he's got one more that'll come off of this to add the rest of our pumpkins and stuff over top of him. So yeah, I'm just I'm looking for props to add in here. This room's almost done. Alright guys, so here it is. I've got a shelf up all painted, heads and pumpkins are on them. I got our our sink box all painted, our pumpkins and stuff on there. I got this and mirror up. This one's all done. And Stefan brought a table. We're gonna add like a lamp on it and shit. So we just got a few more more things to add in here. Like we gotta put something right here. I think I'm gonna get like a vase that'll have some kind of like. Halloween flowers in it and stuff right here. Uh, all kinds of dead shit. We're putting a table right there with a candy bowl. I'm gonna put um, like some moss and stuff in here and like on top of our shelves. Um, we'll have a happy Halloween banner on right there. And then I'm gonna get a bunch of pictures of like Halloween stuff and have them all up here. I wanna make a calendar of October and hang it right here. I'll put a pair of like of crutches or something here. I can actually stick those there right now. So, yeah. And then I got to get something, some kind of a vase or something to put on top of this to take up this space. It just looks real dead right now. So, yeah. What do you think, Stefan? It's a man of few words or <laughs> no words at all. I, I, I agree with something to go there, but. All right, so this room is uh, all up to stress. Once it dries, I'll be hanging up our bunting, and then once I have them, I'll have our curtains hanging up in here too. Uh, the, this wall, we did this newspaper thing where it looks like once we it's all painted and stuff, it'll look like a piece of paint effect. It'll be real cool. So we're waiting on that. So I, I have to actually buy paint tomorrow. Uh, because I need more of the blue that we used in the mortar. And once that's done, I'll hang up our sign and do our distressing on that wall. That room be done. It's gonna look awesome. So, see what they're doing over here. They're in here working on this room. Our our new bunk rooms are laying down our baseboard. Uh, they've got up. They moved our our door down. To the end, we got this new hallway here that we're adding to bring them down here into our new rooms. So that's that. And Jacob and Tyler built our workbench in our mask maker's room. Once I have this painted, which I'll do tomorrow, uh, I can distress this room and we can start hanging our masks in here. Since we keep making them, we kind of need a place to put them and then this room is pretty much done we just have to add our candy and a few other um, small props so yeah good progress hi hey guys welcome back so we are at Hobby Lobby right now bright and early in the morning just got off of work nine o'clock in the morning um, we're walking in I I'm here to get some stuff for the Halloween room up at the haunt that we've been working on over the past few days and I I figured I'd bring the camera and show you guys what they have here so far. I see some stuff up. So, yeah, let's look it up. Right off, right off the bat, right in the front doors. All kinds of Halloween stuff. Lots of, lots of fall stuff. Thanksgiving stuff. I'm looking for, like, a Halloween banner. Like a, a flag banner. I know they had one because I bought one here in the past. I gotta watch how how far down I go because there is 
aisles of cursed things that way you can see it. Yeah, Halloween shit's already out over there. Or Christmas shit, sorry. So maybe right here. Let me see if I can find it. I'm so ready. All right, so I asked if they had like, I need a flag band that says Happy Halloween. And I know they have one here because I've, I've bought one here in the past. And I asked and they said that they don't have Halloween stuff out yet. It's not here yet. So they only have like fall and Christmas, not actual Halloween stuff. So to me it's Halloween because it's creepy and scary. Let me show you this and you tell me whether it's Halloween or not. Uh, leave a comment, let me know. Is this Halloween stuff? Definitely looks like Halloween shit to me. Jack-o'-lanterns and witch hats are not fall. So don't lie to me, lady. I know everything. Hi guys, welcome back. We're up the haunt again, so I don't know if I vlogged yesterday or not, but I'll just show you real quick update in this room. So I've done all this. I hung up our, our buntings, so how it'll work is I'll have like a curtain here and a curtain here and then one that kind of runs like this one will be like kind of long and it'll also run like over our door and then there'll be a curtain here, a curtain here, one like here in the our middle, a curtain there, over our door, a curtain, and then a long one here. So and then un underneath all these we'll have like our posters of Zydrate shit, I think. I think that's how it'll work. Um, so besides that, we did this yesterday. So we, we did this kind of appealing um, lead paint effect. So we took newspaper and we dipped it in a mixture of water and glue and just laid it up on there all, all jagged and hung it off and shit. And then we came back after it was on there and painted it with our blue. That was, took a long time. And then I used uh, just a can of black spray paint and went over everything. And I actually did our whole wall so it's got a marbling effect on it. I hung up our sign. So now I'm going to use this orange and I'm going to paint inside of all this. I'm just I'm going to do like a dry brush on it just so I get some rusting effect. So it'll be a mix of orange and gray and and black and all this has an awesome texture on it. So it'll really pop with the orange and then I'll spray it again to kind of knock it down. So yeah, here we go. All right, so here's the entrance before I hit it with spray paint. So really, really bright brown right now, or really, sorry, really bright orange right now. I'm gonna hit it with spray paint and just bring it down and kind of blend it all in with each other. All right, here we go. I've hit it with orange and brown spray paint, or with black and brown spray paint. Jesus, I'm fucking my colors up today. So here it is. Now I'm gonna do, uh, this is pretty much done. I'm gonna do a, a trim board around this. I have it, it's all ready made, but I'm gonna add a black a distressing on it. And then I gotta, I had to chop these in half and make our walkway and paint that. And it's going like right here. And then I have, to, to distress the whole wall once it's up there. So yeah, here we go. All right, our sign's up, looking good, framed out. So now we gotta build oh, our walkway across here. Uh, it's gonna come all the way across. We gotta add a ladder on this side, a bunch of other props. I got a handrail and add on this. Um, yeah, let's start adding shit. All right, guys, we're about to leave. I wanted to show you what we did so far. So we got our entrance done. Here's another look at it. We got that all painted and shit. It's up there. And then we built this walkway. It's all fake, so I wouldn't ever actually walk on this because it'd be fucking dangerous. But it's going to go right along here. So I'm going to paint it tomorrow and lay out our snow fence and make it look like metal and everything so that's done and then I'll actually hang it up there and then after that's up uh, I'll build a ladder right here we chopped this handrail piece right here 
to go up on here in our wall and kind of out like this. And then we're going to use the excess that we chopped off and weld it and make a handrail on our staircase. So, yeah, that'll all happen tomorrow. Anyway, I'm getting out of here for the day. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm Justin L. Tuning Out. Make sure you subscribe and you stay scary. Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're up to the hunt. So far I have done this walkway. I put this, uh, we use a snow fence on this because it's a prop walkway. You can see that once it's all, all painted and stuff, you can't even tell or until I told you it's snow fence, you wouldn't even have known it's snow fence. So here it is from the other side. Just looks like a metal grate on top of this walkway. Uh, I painted it with our paint sprayer, which is a base coat of gray. Um, once I, it dries, I'll hang it up and uh, use oranges and browns to make it look all old and creepy. Um, and then after it's up there, it's going right here. After it's up there, I'm going to do the whole wall with our distressing and stuff so yeah um, until then I'm gonna mix up some paints and I'm gonna go and do our um, our mask makers room all right guys so this room's all done We've got our workbench all stained Got this room all looking nasty real nice so once it dries I'll start hanging up our masks I think we want to get some kind of like a pegboard and put it up here. We've got a picture we found on the internet, kind of inspiration. Um, and we're gonna hang all kinds of masks on those and other masks that like aren't aren't done. We're gonna have a bunch of, of bottles of brushes and a stack of newspapers probably over there and all kinds of heads that he's working on masks on and a bunch of lamps and shit, some other stuff in here. Uh, but. For the most part, it'll be just masks all over this room with some other kind of roomy stuff around here. He'll have um, a sink, probably, probably over there again, uh, the same spot it's in that room to kind of keep the continuity, um, either over there or right here when they walk in. Um, and then I'll put some other stuff in here to make it look like a room and shit like that. So now I'm gonna head over here. Hey look, the Halloween room. Hey look, our tranny room. Anyway, I'm gonna head over here, um, see what else I can do.